Hey guys, and welcome to the third video in my Python Turtle tutorial series. Uh, you guys might notice it looks a bit different, and this is being recorded like four months later. That's because I honestly completely forgot about the series, and only recently has it started getting a few more views. So I decided I would continue it, because uh, a lot of you guys have been asking for that. Anyways, I'm going to be working in PyCharm today. Uh, it's, that's the editor that I'm using. Anything I do in here is will work more than fine in uh, IDLE. There's nothing like fancy I'm going to do in here that you can't do in idle or any other editor, so don't worry about that. Okay, so in this tutorial, like I mentioned before, we're going to be going over events and how you can draw things using like user input. So not just drawing like a static shape every time you run the program, like the user gets to pick by hitting certain keys or hitting the mouse what they want to draw on the screen, which is essentially uh, what we wanted to get into, right? So first I'm going to import turtle. I'm going to import random. And I don't know if I have to do this, but I'm just going to do it in case from turtle import star which just means import everything all right i'm going to set up a turtle object we've already done this before say tim equals wow i can't type turtle dot turtle like that i'm just going to give him a speed of zero which is maximum speed so that when we hit a key it instantly moves we don't have to wait we don't get any delay i'm going to give a width of five uh like that okay now I'm just going to set up these colors. I'm actually just going to copy in a list, uh, the same one that I had in the last tutorial, just because we're going to do something with the colors as well. And I don't really need to waste time typing those out. Okay, so we've got some colors. And now what the whole goal of this program is going to be is to allow the user to hit keys. And based on what they hit the keys, they're going to move like left, right, up, down, um, and so on. So what we need to do actually to do this, is we have to set up a few functions. And these functions are going to represent what happens when you hit the certain key so we need a function called up okay we need a function called down and then obviously left and right as well okay okay so we've got these functions now let's figure out what we're going to actually do in here so in the up uh function here what i want to do is i want to set the heading of the turtle and i'll talk about what this does in a second because i can't remember if i talked about it in the other video to 90 which means north which is upwards and then we're going to go forward 100. So what this is going to do essentially is it's going to point our turtle upwards and then it's going to go 100. So no matter what direction it was most recently in, we go up and then we go 100. And these are similar for down, left and right. So except for down, the heading is going to be 270 because it's directly opposite of up. And this is just like basic compass uh, headings. Okay. And then for left, we're going to need a heading of 180 and forward again of 100 and then for right we need to change the heading simply to zero okay and those that's pretty much how we're going to move the turtle this is really straightforward so now i'll go into the events uh, that we're going to need to use so in turtle there's these things called events and events is pretty much anything that the user does so any input from them so you moving your mouse around is an event hitting a key um like anything that you can do on the computer so like a keyboard and mouse is an event and it's going to pick up on those events so the thing is, we just have to determine which events we want to listen to and, and react to. So the first event, or the first thing we need to do when we're going to be listening for events is we have to type turtle.listen. And this is just going to let the program know that we're now listening for events and we're able to do what I'm about to do now. So there's these things um, called on key, all right? And this is what's going to determine what key was hit. So I'm just going to type it out and then I'll kind of talk about it as we go through. So turtle.onKey. Okay, and in here, I'm going to put up as the function, and I'm going to put a string up like this. Okay, so the way that this works is now that we're listening for events, we're going to see, okay, so if turtle uh, on key, we're going to activate this function based on this key. So pretty much what this is doing essentially is looking for the up key if it's been hit then we're going to do whatever is in this up function. And notice I don't need the uh, brackets like that. It's just going to automatically call the up function. So we don't need to do anything. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it four times. So up and then we need down, left, and obviously right. And then we're going to have to change the function names as well. Okay, right and down, left and finally right okay 
So again, what these are doing, simply listening to see if this key is hit, so key up, and up in this string represents your arrow key, uh, the up arrow key down, left, right, same thing. And then we're just gonna call these functions and do what we've done in here, really straightforward. Now there's only one more thing we need, and it's this main loop thing, okay? So what this main loop does is simply is gonna keep continuing to look for um, all of these key presses until the program is closed by us, meaning we hit the X button. If we don't have this main loop, what happens is the program is just gonna instantly close because, well, we're not drawing anything and it looks for uh, events. And if no event is hit, like the second we open the program, then it's just gonna close. So we need to add this main loop. And whenever you're putting main loop, make sure you put it at the very bottom of your program, okay? And it can't be inside like a, actually I think it can be inside a function, but for now we're gonna leave it in the main, okay? I'm gonna run the program. And you can see now that we popped up with the little turtle graphics. And if I hit the left arrow key, I move left. If I go up, I go up, left, down. And you can see that we can kind of draw around the screen. And that's pretty cool that we were able to do that in like a few minutes by just hitting a few arrow keys. Okay, and you guys can mess around with this, change the color, whatever. So now what I'm gonna show you is what happens when you click the mouse button. So this is pretty boring. I wanna add some colors to my turtle like screen or whatever okay so the way i'm going to do that is i'm going to say if the user hits the left mouse button i want to change the color of the turtle to be a random color and if they hit the left mouse button or the right mouse button sorry then i want something different to happen and i, I want to like stamp the turtle and i think i talked about stamp in the other videos okay so what i'm going to do now here i'm going to set up another function because we're going to have to check to see if the user hit uh the left or right mouse buttons so we need functions for them so what's going to happen when you click them so i'm going to say this one is click left okay and we actually need to type in two parameters in here and i'll talk about why you need to do that in just one second okay so if they click left what i want to do is i want to um what do you call it change the color right okay so to do this we've done this before tim.color and is equal to random dot choice colors so i noticed someone commented in my other video this is a lot easier way to select a random item out of a list so all this does is just randomly pick an item out of our list and gives it in the color for so i'm just going to do that and save us a bit of time okay so i'm just going to copy this and make one called click right okay it does need this x and y again so make sure that's in there that's important and when we click right what i want to do is i want to stamp the turtle down on the screen okay so now these ones are a bit different for mouse buttons all right when you're clicking mouse buttons so there's two different types of clicks that you can actually do. You can do a click on the actual turtle, or you can do a click on the turtle screen. Now in our case, I wanna do it on the screen so they can click anywhere on, on the actual turtle screen to change the color. But if you wanted to do just on the turtle, what you would do is, uh, I'll just type it out in case any of you guys wanna do this. Turtle dot, sorry, um, on click like this, okay? And then it's gonna be the same thing as here. So what you do is say you wanted to say if you actually click the turtle object, then you'd say click left. And then you can either type one, two, or three here. Now one stands for your left mouse button, two stands for your middle mouse button, and three stands for your right mouse button, okay? So if you wanted it to be your left mouse button, you would obviously wanna put one. Now the thing is we don't wanna have it when they click on the turtle object, we wanna have it when they click anywhere on the screen. So the way that we do this is just type on screen click. So it's pretty intuitive and same thing. We're going to click left when they're clicking the left mouse button. Now I'm going to copy this, paste it down here and simply change this to three and then change this to click right. Because like I mentioned, three stands for right mouse button. Click right is what's happening when we click the right mouse button. And let's test this out and make sure everything's working. Okay. So I'm going to start moving. And if I click my mouse button, so my left mouse button, you can see that we change colors and I can continue to click it as much as I want and we just keep randomly changing colors. Now what happens if I click my right mouse button? You can see that it actually stamps down that little arrow on wherever we're drawing, like this, okay? And you guys can do whatever you want with your events. So now that you know about events and you already know about a bunch of different turtle methods and stuff like that, you could change this to be, for example, um, if you want it to be the A key, you would change it to A. If you want it to be spacebar, um, I think you'd have to look it up for spacebar because I don't know what it is. But if you want it to be like the six key, you just put six. Um, and it's pretty intuitive in terms of the actual names that go in this string. Anyways, I hope you guys learned a little bit. That has been it for this tutorial on the turtle graphics. I'm going to do another tutorial where I talk about more stuff in terms of drawing with 
the actual mouse so you can move your mouse around and draw like different shapes and objects. And yeah, that'll be in the next video. So make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next one.